who don't know. Today, November 10th, is the birthday of the United States Marines Corps, and tomorrow is officially Veterans Day. So we find this a fitting time to acknowledge all of our veterans, but in particular, a special group of Marines who made the ultimate sacrifice. 7 Action News reporter and Marine Malcolm Maddox introduces us to a very special Veterans edition of our Detroit 2020 Person of the Week. You know, the second Gulf War lasted a little more than eight and a half years, and in that time, more than 4,000 U.S. service members lost their lives in combat. But during one particularly brutal stretch between October of 2006 and February of 2007, 22 Marines from Selfridge Air National Guard Base were killed in action. This story is about the effort to build a memorial in their honor and the retired Marine leading the way. This is my battalion. 1st Battalion, 24th Marine Regiment, Thunder from the North, home to 22 Marines immortalized as a result of their involvement in one of America's longest wars. This is my contribution to those Marines who have followed on and taken our place and wrote the history of 1st Battalion, 24th Marines in Fallujah. A generation may separate retired Master Sergeant Angelo Lima from those 22 Marines who died fighting in Fallujah. Nonetheless, all 22 are his brothers each one leaving behind a story of his own. Terrell, he, he was a smart little kid. We raised him, he was eight weeks old when we got him. He loved church, he was out front. He knew how to lead. Stephen is his cousin. They went in together. I didn't like it because the war was going on. I knew it was a possibility that they would go. When they went out on that field, man, I haven't seen nothing that, nothing like that in my life. Every step that was, they made was like one. I mean, that's something that would be with me, you know, for the rest of my life. When they were gonna ship him out. And I went to see him that night. He held me so tight, I could hardly breathe. He said, I may not come back. He said, but I love you. You're my daddy, I love you. Roadside, bomb, you know, bomb. Got blowed up, that child didn't have a chance. Terrell B. Hill, one of 22 locally based Marines killed in action over just four and a half months. A memorial was planned in 2008. The site chosen sits behind the Chesterfield Township offices in Macomb County. Nearly a decade later, this is where things stand. As you can see, more help is needed. Help us set the table. That's what we're looking at. There's gonna be 22 bronze plates on that table, one for each of the 22 Marines. Along with the symbolic place setting for 22, additional concrete work and landscaping needs to be completed. These Marines went there with the purest of intentions to serve in the cause of freedom, and I just, think that uh, it's something that we have to do. So I don't want them to be forgotten. The journey to complete this memorial has been long and arduous, but Master Sergeant Angelo Lima has given his word that it will be completed. And that is why he is our Detroit 2020 Person of the Week. If you can help out in any way, money, materials, no matter what, your help would be most graciously appreciated. We have a link where you can learn more about the memorial to honor these American heroes and donate if you'd like. It's attached to this story on our website, WXYZ.com. Back to you. Wow, what a beautiful story. I mean, a sad story, but a beautiful yeah. story. There, there are so many service members, Marine, uh, so forth, and our service members who run construction companies. There's a job for you. Yeah. Be sure to join us for